Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today I went once again to my rooftop to put in a Shelly 1pm on my solar water heater so that I can on only one device be able to have the temperature of my water and also the power consumption if I use my electricity to eat up water in the winter for example. And before we move on, don't forget to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Wondershare Dr. Phone. And it's available for iOS and Android. We can do phone backups, restore to and from our Windows or Mac computers, data recovery, phone transfers, system repairs such as black screens, boot loops and so on, especially on Android phones and a lot more. There is a free trial version. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out and see for yourself if it's the software that you want to use or not. So the Shelly 1PM, it's not new here on the channel. And to note right over here, I will put the phone right over here with the app open so that you can see the temperature because it is a quarter to two and the water is still uh, heating up. So probably while we are doing the video, you will see the graphic going up and up and it's worth for what it for what it is but probably you will enjoy to see the app with some interaction in terms of installation which i will talk in just a few moments but i will leave some links right over here and you will be able to check out the shelly 1pm basic installation where i did on my desk with all the details and so on and so forth so it will be easier so that you can understand how to put in your water heater or any other device because we can do and we have a lot of possibilities. Now that being said in terms of the experience that I'm doing at this moment is as you guys know and link right over here I had already one solution to measure temperature which was with Sonoff device the TH16 and it has been giving me great results actually I can show you right here on screen uh, the temperature which I'm comparing right now with Shelly is more or less the same and the difference as far as I can tell is just because I've got one of the probes uh, on a different side and it will give me a little bit of different readings but we are talking about less than one degree 66.69 and let me just go back because I'm not sure if it's refreshed it's not refreshed so 66. So Sonoff, in terms of software, um, has to go back to refresh while Shelly doesn't. But as you can see, roughly half a degree Celsius in terms of difference. And one of the main differences right over here in terms of the Shelly 1PM is that with only one device, I'll be able to get the temperature and also the power consumption. At this moment, if I turn on the power right over here on the Shelly 1PM, we will see that in current consumption at this moment 370 and this because I've got a power limiter I will leave a link right over here my uh, electric resistance is 3000 watts but with a power limiter I'm using the power that I want I can just put 600 watts or 500 watts or 1000 watts stuff like that so that I can get from my solar PV system and heat up water in the winter without paying extra from the electric company and to have these two results on the son of like i had before we would need as you guys know two devices the th16 that i have right over there but also the son of power and in this particular case with shelly 1pm we will have everything on the exact same app and with only one device the only thing that we will need is a probe and a adapter which i will leave some links down below but that is it now one of the experiences that i'm doing as well is that i had the sun off downstairs one of the circuit breakers that i did for uh, the solar panel and so on and so forth but my experience right over here is to use shelly 1pm because it's really small on the water heater upstairs on the roof and the space is more than enough to put in a few Shelly 1pm as you can see by some images right over there and the test will be also because I'm in August here where I live is really hot at this moment and I want to check out if it will handle the heat or not so this is one of my tests and in a few weeks I'll be able to tell this is my only question in terms of working it's working great measuring the temperature 
temperature measuring the power consumption but in terms of heat let's see if it will handle i do hope so and if it survives this month it will survive all year round but this is something that we will have to wait a few weeks to be able to answer 100 in terms of the installation it's really easy and i also recorded a time lapse and so on and so forth but while i was doing i was thinking that probably this will not be the easiest way for you to understand so i will uh, target you to one of the videos that i did where i do explain how to connect the shelly 1pm and that will work for any device in this particular video that i'm mentioning i'm using a switch and in this particular case we don't need any so just remove the switch from this scenario and that is it we will need phase neutral and basically that will be it and then in terms of the app itself we already seen uh, what we can do with the app which it's really complete i do have quite a few devices right over here uh, office kitchen solar pv my uh, electric circuit breaker right over here with the values of my solar pv and power consumption of the house as well also the garage to open and close the door uh, but here i do have my water heater and also the solar water heater which i can just turn it off if I want and one of the things that we can notice is that while we were talking because I do tend to talk a lot uh, the water already heated a little bit more so as you can see it's going up and up and it will be doing so until roughly six o'clock in the afternoon and then once we go for showers it will go down and, and that is it this is one of the improvements that i'm doing right now i'm still testing and comparing with the uh, sonoff right over here the th16 at this moment in terms of temperature the same but the app in terms of the shelly ecosystem in my opinion as i said before it's a lot more complete with a lot more options quicker easier to install devices well a lot of advantages in this particular case with only one small little thing called shelly 1pm we will be able to do the same as two devices from sonos so this is a good option and that is it if you still have any questions feel free to leave them down below i will answer as best and as fast as i can hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.